Yes, my people, good day. How you feeling today? I got a question about a 2010 Chevy Cobalt. Customer states that the blow motor is not working on high speeds. It works on all the other speeds, but it doesn't work on high speed. So this is the wiring diagram right here. Just take a quick notice. When I pull a wiring diagram up, I try to locate the component that's not working on the wiring diagram. So here's my blow motor under the right side of the dash. Now we have a power side. You see the power, the fuse is usually on the wire wiring diagrams coming from the top and then now we have a ground side as you look at this diagram right here you can tell that the speed control is not through the power side it's just the power supply on this side but on the ground side you can see the blower motor resistor is here and the hvac control is here so what the manufacturer did in this design is they are adjusting the amount of resistance on the ground side and that's how they get the other speeds out of it so what the customer states it works in all the speeds except high so if it's working in all the other speeds we know that the power side is good we're going to take a look on the ground side to see what's going on on the ground side so when you look down here there's this junction this j261 there's a connection point inside the harness on one end we're coming through the blow motor resistor and then the next end we're coming directly out of the HVAC control module. So when we look here in off, it circles back and goes into the logic board in the off position. So it knows when it's off. So now when we switch to low, this little arrow right here is going to go up and make contact with this low. The ground comes up, goes across, comes down. And when you switch it on low, the ground is supplied to this low. If you trace and follow on this yellow wire, you see it goes into the resistor and it has to go through one resistor, two resistor, three resistors. It goes across, comes through this junction and then goes up to the blower motor. At this point now, the blower motor will start turning and with all those resistors, it's probably get maybe three or four volts. So it's going to turn slowly. So now when you get back down to the switch, when you go to medium one, M1, you'll see you come across on this tan wire through A and it goes and it has to go through one resistor, two resistor, not three, and then goes to the junction and then up to the blow a motor and when you go to medium two it goes through this light blue wire over through b and it only has to go through one resistor then goes through the junction and then go to the blow motor so at this point now it's going to be getting less resistance on that wire so it's probably going to get in maybe now nine volts instead of full 12 volts and it's going to be spinning a little faster but when you go on high that the customer complaint is it's not working on high it does not go through the resistor so we know the resistor is not the problem the problem is between this high control right here and this junction point between here and there it couldn't be between here because none of the speeds would be working it has to be between j261 and e and this orange wire so what you're gonna what i would do here now is i'll be checking for continuity between j261 and E on this orange wire to make sure it's not broken or chafed anywhere. And if it's good, the problem is going to be inside HVAC control module. And it is as straightforward as that. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Stay blessed. Yeah. yeah.